Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. Welcome back here to another update on this wonderful Tuesday night. Well, close to Wednesday morning here. Technically, five minutes away from Wednesday morning. Uh, sep well, September? It's January 2nd, 2024, about 11.55 p.m. here California time. Uh, Missy Mimi's here hanging out in the background. What's going on there, Missy Mimi's? How's it going, guys? She's feeling a little tired, so we're going to keep this just a short update. <laughs> <laughs> if I could only turn the webcam on, guys. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Two, she's like, what? What did you say? I said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> webcam turning on. Just kidding, guys. 2.1 out here in the area of uh, the Big Island, Hawaii. <clears throat> I literally just sprayed some orange spray here into the, into the computer room here, and uh, I regret it because it's kind of making me choke here. Stand by for a second. Latest activity, obviously 3.3 it looks like on the globe here across the uh, South America region. Far as any significant movement going on here, looks like most of the activity here has been around the Japan area. Still seeing some earthquake activity, aftershock activity there with quite a few threes and fours. Uh, we are seeing a broad area roughly about the Java Trench eastward here across the plate boundary to Papua New Guinea. Uh, from a, about a five-pointer here to a five-pointer across uh, the plate boundary. Seeing an elevated earthquake acti uh, activity here across the region today. Uh, so we'll continue to keep an eye on areas here across the Java Trench. Not so much here across the areas of the uh, Indonesia or the um, uh, Tonga Trench and the Kermadec Trench here. Pretty quiet. Tonga region, Fiji Islands area. Not showing anything here on the Earthquake 3D map for now. So things are awfully quiet. Uh, as far as earthquake activity there on the big island, there is that 2.1 coming in here. Not a whole lot of significant earthquake activity out there for now. And we're going to double check the inflation activity out here across the Kilauea Volcano. Real quick and see what's going on before Missy Mimi's passes out on me. I'm going to tease you. <laughs> All right, UWE, let me double check the UWE out here. Uh, we're leveling out here uh, in terms of inflation, but we're still at an obvious elevated inflation area here since the, uh, well, the highest level since about 2018. This is the last 30 days. Uh, if we were to go back, obviously, to 2018, you would see that this area right here is, is at its highest level of inflation in terms of uptick inflation activity there across the Kilauea volcano so continue to watch that there's not a whole lot of earthquake activity showing up uh, at least in the last few hours we did see some magma movement earlier looks like uh, at least earlier this morning that's some uh, magma fluid movement going on there across the summit area of Kilauea volcano currently not erupting uh, the latest informational statement here from the hazard notification system which is pretty cool you can sign up for it to get notified in the events of uh uh hazards shows that the volcano is currently not erupting as of today well today still being tuesday but here in a couple minutes it will no longer be tuesday at least here in the west coast all right uh looking at the rest of the globe here um aside from that activity here about japan southward uh you know there's Definitely seen some elevated movement out here. Some deeper activity triggering on a broad scale. Um, obviously, that uh, large earthquake that struck out there in the Japan region here. Uh, just a couple, well, what was it, yesterday or the day before? Uh, has made a little bit of adjustment down here across this plate boundary. Let's check out the California area real quick. See what's going on before Missy Mimi's passes out here. Um, uh, West Coast, pretty quiet. Not seen a whole lot of activity out here for now. Uh, in fact, if we look at uh, the majority of the earthquake activity, it looks like some generally small microquake activity out here. And um, <laughs> just watching Missy Mimi's out here. Oh, goodness. We need to turn on the webcam and face this towards us. Who wants to see a live webcam while we're doing the updates? I think that would be good, right? Have a little webcam up here in the corner watching us while we're doing the live update. I think that would be good. If I can get enough supporters, we'll do that. 
a uh, little bit of activity down here off the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. For now, though, uh, looks like uh, the latest one shows a 2.7 down here. Again, off the San Andreas Fault on the North American side of the plate boundary. Right in that area where you expect uh, some of that tension to transfer off of the plate boundary here eastward. No major earthquake activity there for now. Yellowstone National Park. Let's uh, double check that here real quick. Over to this map. Uh, looks like some earthquake activity here in the last few minutes or so. It's going to be this little spike of an earthquake. Uh, not a big one. Generally, a, uh, looks like a smaller earthquake activity there across the Purple Mountain, maybe the Mary Lake area. But uh, no major swarm going on here today. A quick look at the space weather activity. And Missy Mimi's, oh man, glossy eyes. I can see it. You okay, babe? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's okay. I think she is. Right? What's your New Year's resolution, Missy Mimi's? We oh put gosh. we put you on the spot here real quick. What is your New Year's resolution? I told these guys my year, uh, New Year's resolution. And that is to be more proactive here in terms of uh, on the channel as far as getting out and doing more things for the channel mm -hmm. out on locations. That, that definitely need to do that more. Um, mine is to lose some lose weight, get more active physically. Physically active? That's a good one. Definitely. I think a lot of people choose that New Year's resolution, right? Well, a lot of people, you know. Mine's more medical reasons. Yeah, it's all good. You don't have to explain oh, no, exactly. But, but, you know, it's it's good that people know, you know, why sometimes they don't like to be on camera. Well, yeah. we're not on camera yet. Yet. <laughs> But we'll consider it, right? It would be pretty cool to extend a little live stream here with a... Uh, so, basically, mine is just to get healthier. Get health. That's always a good thing. Get healthier. So, that's good. I, I, I agree with that 100%. Definitely. So, mm -hmm. Proton Event kicking in right now. They were calling for about a 25% chance of a Proton Event here. Looks like that is kicking up right now into the solar... Or into the uh, polar regions of the south here. Uh, pretty nicely, not really affecting the rest of the globe. Uh, it's slightly up here in north. This doesn't really mean anything. It's just uh, it means that there's uh, some protons here, uh, charged protons, so to speak, uh, affecting the southern area of the Earth. And these uh, uh, proton events do have a somewhat of a dramatic effect on the high frequency and low frequency navigation and communication systems out there in the solar polar regions, but I'm not for sure how many people are out there communicating on the CB radio or any type of, uh, you know, high frequency communications out there in the, in the southern edge of the world. Probably not, but you never know, right? Uh, far as any flare activity goes, well, things have kind of calmed down slightly. Not seen a whole lot of activity here in the last 24 hours. It looks like the last one was a very low M flare. A look at the sunspot regions that are capable of producing some flares uh, is going to be this area here across the northeastern limb of the sun. Very dynamic here in terms of complexity across this main core area. That's the region of the X flare, X 5.0 recently. We are looking at a little companion joining in north of this area. It's actually grown pretty nicely and also a little region out here further across the eastern limb of the sun that does show uh, a little bit of uh, growth as well. But we do have 35, 36, 35, 37 that do harbor a little bit of uh, potential for some stronger flaring here as they rotate into the earth view. Uh, we were out of luck in terms of that G1 class storm here. We were expecting in the last 24 hours that did not materialize. Uh, a few folks stated here that they uh, that maybe it was late, but uh, it was not. Uh, I, I think it completely missed us, to be honest. Uh, I don't think we've seen any uh, effects of it. So uh, we'll wait for the another, at least another CME event. Uh, hopefully it takes place. Right now there is a pretty decent chance of an X flare, 25% chance. C flare at 99 M flare at 60% chance. Of course, we are seeing some proton events kicking up right now. 
Uh, severe weather possibilities here over the next couple days. Doesn't show too much here. Uh, just general thunderstorm activity across the west and portions of, uh, looks like Texas here in the coming days, but we're really not expecting much. Uh, a glance here at the precipitation models here as we put this into motion. We're definitely noticing a pattern change out here as we head into the middle of uh, January. Much colder air coming down out of the north, bringing with it some snow, snow possibility out here in Kansas, Nebraska, maybe even to Texas here as we head into the middle of the month. Uh, whoa, look at that. Now that's kind of, look, we got to zoom into that here real quick. You guys see that? Hold on a second. Let me bring up a region here. I doubt that will take place. Snow in an El Nino pattern. Right now, look at that. That sh Well, yeah, that shows some heavy duty snow all the way down to the valley floor uh, just north of Sacramento here. That would include Chico area right, right here where I'm at. Looking at maybe four inches of snow That's <laughs> come that. well just, i i think this changes. yeah i think this is going to change but this is around the 15th of january a uh, ways out but that's uh that's a pretty impressive event should that take place uh and then after that we got some further storms coming in here to the california area Ooh, it's just getting prettier right it's getting prettier i like that and i like the storms coming in here so bring it on what a great way to start off the new year. That's yeah. for sure. Um, what else we got here? Uh, snow for Chico, right? Uh, thanks for checking in there, Timothy. I appreciate you guys uh, hanging in there, keeping the channel uh, in check for sure. That would be cool, Tim, having a green screen in the background. That's our goal. Right? I, I would love to uh, throw up a little green screen there. I said spin the globe in the background. That'd be so we cool. could. That'd be so cool. But also big. at the same time, we'd have to be in front of the camera. Well, so yeah, but that would still be cool. Right? Big, <laughs> big globe spinning behind us. That, that would be cool. awesome. Right. It's in the works. It, definitely in the works there. We'll definitely uh, see what we can come up with. But for <laughs> now, definitely, uh, I think it's bedtime here. It's after midnight, uh, a little late. Missy Mimi's has uh, uh, ex explained here that she's very tired. And... Uh, you don't want to hang up, hang out for night, or, you know, like all nighter, mm -mm. stay up all night. I'm too old. Too old. <laughs> oh goodness! All right. That's how I'm feeling today. A little bit too old. Too too done. <laughs> I know. I got a tendency of kind of tossing back and forth occasionally. I, I don't know what's going on here. Recently, been uh, tossing and turning here. Um, after I get you know, situated in bed, it seems like my muscles want to, uh, just want to flop around like a fish out of the sea. Not for sure why, but, uh, I don't know. It, it's weird. And it does keep missing Mimi's up. So I apologize about that. Oh, you're fine. I'm fine until tonight when I do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of here. Have yourself a good night. Uh, lives. Well, at least the, uh, well, what do we got here? A little earthquake there on Chile. Yellowstone National Park still showing uh, some earthquake activity. Nothing big. Um, no major changes there across Iceland for now, but uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on things. And uh, 6.1 Argentina. 6.1 Argentina? I guess that must Did be that a, just come in? That must be the one right there on Chile. Let me see here. That's a, a pretty nice... Uh, I figured I'd check before we finished. Hold that. on a second. I got a 5.6 here on the globe. What's up on that app? This is a EMSC app. EMSC? Yeah, they downgraded it to a 5.6. 5 5.6, 5 okay. But I mean, that explains that quake. Yeah, right? <laughs> Perfect. I figured I'd check before we Thank you. That, so. USGS not really reporting anything down here, but it uh, looks like a 5.6 coming into the Earthquake 3D globe. Obviously, they're on the uh, seismograph stations there as well around Chile. Could get upgraded. Could it could get downgraded. Never know. I mean, similar to what we've seen there in Japan, they said it was a 6.1, and that came out to be a 7.5. So a pretty significant difference there in uh, magnitudes. Uh, but there was some uh, some shaking being reported out there around Argentina for that 5.6, five minutes ago. And these source parameters are being provided by the folks there in Germany. So obviously this stuff will be uh, upgraded, downgraded, reviewed and whatnot so 
All right, folks, we're out of here. Have yourself a good night. We'll catch you guys back here later tonight or later uh, this morning because it is uh, technically Wednesday right now. But uh, we're going to try to get a little bit of sleep. Have yourself a good night, and uh, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on. And if this does get upgraded, we graded above a six, we will let you guys know in advance. But have a great night, guys. Have a good one. Catch you guys later.